What are some awesome things about being alive? Laughing until you're in tears. You are made up of billions of cells, which are made up of billions of tiny particles, which are basically just vibrations, and so as every other living thing, you are a product of billions of years of evolution, and have such a tiny percent chance of even existing. You are a miracle. You can do so much good in the world and help people you will never know just by being a good person. You have so much potential and opportunity. There's so much knowledge out there for you to learn. Chocolate exists. Driving W windows down on a cool night with her favorite song blasting. Cuddling with your choice of person or pet on a chilly night. I grew up in a trailer park. I moved overseas at 22, and one of my first trips was Paris. I remember thinking shit, I never thought this would happen watching the lights on the Eiffel Tower. Giza pyramids, the Red Sea, Rhine castles, palaces, Venice. Never in a 1000 years did I imagine that part of my life. You never know what's next good or bad. Add. I'm not at a great point in my life but dang, it was good while it lasted. 23 countries, 4 languages, and great, funny, dodgy memories. I get to hear the raindrops as I fall asleep after a long day. Everything. I can't punch dragons and fuck wagons when I'm dead. Taking a poop while surfing Reddit. Pets. When I wake up and my dog comes running over wagging his tail so hard he loses balance and smiling that unique smile of his, it's like a shot of happiness straight to the brain. Even if it's only for a moment. Having a cappuccino on a European street corner on the first morning of a trip. There's a universe that exists and the odds you were lucky enough to get born in it long enough to experience outnumbers the sand grains in the Sahara Desert. That being said, it doesn't offset what a giant pain in the ass it's been. On some level one appreciate it, but at the same time I wouldn't have to fret over what happens when I die if I'd never been born. It's still a toss-up for me. For Sex, adrenaline rushes, bonding with other human beings, overcoming adversity, sports, traveling, learning and finding out amazing news things about the world, siblings, pets, writing your name while peeing in snow. So many great things about being alive. You really get to appreciate the good things in life after going through unimaginable pain and suffering. I get to play D&D. &D. Sex, food, music and drink. Music. And hash x200b. Https colon slash slash u2 dot be slash kl1 lp81 esky closing square bracket opening parenthesis https colon slash slash u2 dot b slash kl1 lp81 esky closing parenthesis swimming whenever i swim i feel so happy and alive my whole body just relaxes and everything in the world feels great at a concert that moment when the house lights go down can't wait to experience that again soon. Also getting to see your favorite song by a band performed live, especially if it's a song they don't play often. I like to think about the vast mystery of space, the quadrillions of stars and planets that are just out there. It's cliche to bring up, but it's so cool to think that our lives are just little blips in the endlessness of reality. I like to look at the moon and be at peace. In other words, being able to exist in our universe. I appreciate a lot about being alive but one of my favorite parts is the opportunity to observe. Like, just watching, listening, looking at stuff. Nature, art, animals, crowds and busy areas, etc. I enjoy the fact that I have the chance to just observe sometimes. Watching my son learn every day, he's two years old. The wonder that he has at everything around him is great and it's really cool to just let him figure out the world around him. The rate at which they adapt is incredible. My wife and kids are pretty great. Rick Rolling Reddit. Winking face. HTTPS colon slash slash u2 dot be slash fcsfob 2 f 70 closing parenthesis. Water. Just drinking water is so fucking good. Like that chugachuga feeling you get from having cold water down your throat and the instant relief you get. Fucking divine. When you're with someone you love. Be it a family or friend or so, and you're laughing so hard you can barely breathe. That is true happiness. Tr viewing the absolute beauty of nature on this planet. The feeling of someone playing with or stroking your hair. 
There are so many different kinds of cheese. Best part of the simulation. Melt.x. Warm shower. Good food. Nice smells. Rest. Sleep. Entertainment. Honestly. Too many to list. Take off your shoes and walk on some well-kept grass. Shit feels amazing. To enjoy and experience things that make you truly happy while you still can. There's always opportunity to enjoy life. Even if it doesn't seem like it. And I'm glad I learned that rather than giving up. Thinking what asterisk you asterisk want to think. What are other people going to do? Stop me from thinking. Knowing that however insignificant your life is, everything you do has a drastic effect on the future. X. If the temp. Was one off in the early universe, then life as we know it wouldn't exist. Ex Not being dead. Doctor Who. Sometimes when I'm reading a book or looking something up on Google I'll get this head rush about how I'm going to know something I couldn't have possibly guessed about even two minutes ago. It may be something I never use, or even something I never speak or think about again, but the fact that I am able to know it, and that I do, is kind of its own weird thrill. I also get it when I'm explaining something that I learned to someone else and I realize I understand a pretty obscure topic in a pretty nuanced way. Not in the sense that it makes me smarter or anything. Just in the sense that I could answer most layman's questions about it. Learning and sharing, I guess would be the short answer. If you like the responses in this thread, there is a book for you. It's called 14,000 Things to Be Happy About. The Happy Book HTTPS colon slash slash www.goodreads.com slash book slash show slash 667416.14 underscore 000 underscore things underscore to underscore be underscore happy underscore about and it's just a list of things moments, objects, meals, whatever, that have made someone happy. If you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. Knowing that there is someone out there who actually cares for me. I just said this in another thread, but, with the right mindset, at any given moment you are a year or two away from living a fully different life, being a totally different individual surrounded by loved ones that you don't even know exist yet. That is fucking astounding to me. You grew from a cell smaller than a grain of sand that was made from stardust. Life is awesome. Life. We are the universe become self-aware. There was nothing and then shit just all eventually came together to create a construction of atoms that realized what it was and realized what the universe was. I've been wondering the same. That you're not dead. Converting organic molecules into other organic molecules. Not being dead. Breathing is pretty cool. Going underwater at the beach and letting the waves roll you around. You're not dead. Breathing I've almost drowned a couple times and almost been suffocated and my grandma basically went through hell slowly suffocating to death with throat cancer. Sometimes I just like to breathe in and out and appreciate it while I still can. And through your nose because you will get a cold and wish you could. It's the little things. Creativity. The power to create and share your ideas, and to see others at the click of a button. I love it. Music its power is so underrated its ability to bring people together to cause chaos yet bring peace without music society wouldn't be what it is today. At the moment, I get to thank God for my dog breathing and snoring beside me. Her gentle breathing helps calm my mind when I can't sleep due to anxiety. Baby animals. Food and hentai. How about this? It's the only state or condition of being we know and will ever know. We have nothing to compare the highs and lows, both supposed or perceived, of being alive against. Food always. I'd say sex but never had any so I'd say food. Seeing things like lightning or hearing thunder or looking at the stars. Seeing different colors of the sunset or crazy looking clouds from storms. Really anything that happens in nature or in the sky is pretty incredible. Getting high. Breathing. I choked on a large piece of ice once and couldn't breathe for a few seconds. Scariest moment of my life. Sex. The vagina is a fantastic thing. Especially when you're into each other and want to fuck each other. Hashtag D-O-N. T-cheat. Fuck your wife, husband. Being able to live rent-free in some people's heads. 
taxes. No, wait, uh, traffic. No, darn it, uh, hum. Romantic rejection, uh. University loans, erm, bullying. Dot air, crap, that's not right. Uh. Dot how about watching oneself age and decay? Ooh, that's not that great. Existential crises where you stare into the cosmos trying to make sense of it all and realize you can't. No. Derealization episodes. No. Hmm. An NBSP. Oh, vegan cheesecake. That's kind of good, right? So yay. Being able to. You know. Literally everything that can be perceived as awesome can only be experienced while alive. When I figure it out I'll let y'all know. The dating world. Dot you literally don't know what's going to happen next. It's a fun high. Banana cream pie. Compliments, boomerangs, sudden intense orgasms when making direct eye contact with a seagull. Terminator 2. The number 2. Box wine. Being alive. You're always alive. So love is dope. I am from Hong Kong. When I was 16 my parents started moving. They lived in five developing countries in five years. I had already seen in Guangzhou, a Chinese city next to Hong Kong, go from a small backwaters to a giant spiraling metropolis. The wealth creation and the introduction of technology to the developing wood is an unbelievable and truly glorious event for humanity that I do not think people understand. My mother is African. When I was kid people on the street were so far removed to the outside world. Then mobile phone became cheap. People started using minutes as a currency removing the need for banks which for many people were inaccessible. They had texting networks to figure out how much their produce should be worth from their village to the city. Then smartphones. Smartphone changed the developing worlds. They had no money for PCs but cheap phones change everything. People think that paying on your phone is a western idea. Nope. It comes from the developing world. M-Pesa changed everything. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash m dash pesa closing parenthesis I am in awe of the world. The poverty I saw outside the window is still there but nothing like it was. The world, outside of the West, is improving at a staggering and awesome rate. The ability to travel and enjoy all the beautiful natural wonders the world has to offer. The variety and uniqueness of it. Everyone lives in different ways, feeling different emotions, liking and disliking different things, experiencing and understanding things in different ways. Every life is unique. One of the coolest parts of being alive is knowing how different your life is from other people, and learning about the ways other people live. Drinking water. The feeling of playing video games when it's raining with a bag of Doritos and Coke at your side and the boys are on. Thanks for watching. See you later.